My name is Gerard Texan. I'm from Queens, New York, but I'm originally from the Philippines. I'm a filmmaker, digital content creator, and an educator at CUNY. In college, I started as an accounting major and I got my associates in accounting, but at the same time, in my head, when I was getting my bachelor's degree in Hunter, I just, that's the time when I decided to be a media major at Hunter College and pursue filmmaking as well as different medias to tell my stories. This next one goes out to the birthday girl. Happy birthday, Irene. <laughs> The short film, This Moment, is about a guy reliving the same day over and over again until he makes the right choice so he could get out of that loop. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I know. Uh, Irene's birthday, I got it. Alright, right. We submitted this to yeah. um, the Campus Movie Festival. To my surprise, and everybody's surprised, that we actually won the best movie during that year. And... A couple of months later, I got an email saying that we are invited to represent Campus Movie Fest at Cannes International Film Festival. My name is Prasha Lather. I'm 27 years old. I'm from Queens, New York. I was diagnosed in April 2011 um, with scleroderma. And my skin was just turning into a wood. Like I was turning into stone inside and out. The Gift of Life is about um, Prasha's journey in looking for an organ donor to help her get a new set of lungs. They told me we have two to five years to live. So I, it's already been two years. But like hoping like to get a call for new lungs and transplant it soon. Prasha was a good colleague of mine during my time at LaGuardia Community College and she was a big fan of a lot of my work there. And when I knew that she was diagnosed with scleroderma and she was living with oxygen tank, uh, that was the time when I feel like I could learn about the whole organ donating procedures as well as the medical aspect and the social economic aspect of a person of color, specifically the police community, and how they deal with trying to figure out like if they would be in line to get a new set of lungs for her. At one point, I was like, I can't take this anymore. I was like, I was like giving up on life. And then I went for lots of therapies, and was, and then my I met my husband. He was there with me all the time throughout everything in the hospital. And he was like a person who changed my life with his help, like. I have got a new, new means of living a life. Like I have a baby because of him. I have a family because of him, and I have a goal. I have a meaning. Like you know, like I have to live for my family, for my child. I have to see my child to grow up. A year after I finished this short film, she actually got a new set of lungs, where she doesn't have to live with oxygen tanks anymore and that was the time where um, she got to live a normal life with her kid her family her husband everything and it was just such a such a happy time for her 
but I think it was the early 2019 unfortunately she passed and I was really devastated because I wanted to do like a second portion of the movie about her um, journey in actually having the lungs and it was such a sad moment and the thing that I want to continue on with the story was instead of like you know, looking into the sadder part is her journey and even after her journey is over because she still has her daughter and her husband and her family and just telling the story of how great of a person she is, how strong she is and how strong of a fighter she is even though everything was all up against her and you know, she prevailed. The human body is capable to bring a new life in this world and you just don't want to bring a life you want to be there you want to help it grow you want to be there to help it prosper get bigger and be a good human being